What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. On this Core Progression Monday, we're going to have a little fun, a little video game fun. Now, one of my favorite game series of all time is Zelda. From the first one all the way to the new Breath of the Wild, it is just such a fun game. And I wanted to do a little video game music because we haven't done that before, so why not? So let's check out the theme or the music from the Great Fairy Mountain. <laughs> So before we jump in, I am in standard tuning, and if you want the tabs for this chord progression, you can find them in the description box below. The theme opens up with this really nice C9 arpeggio, right? Or a C dominant ninth arpeggio. And, that, and the game does it a little differently. We had some creative liberties here. I just went up the chord a little bit. So it was C, or eight on the low string, E, G, which is seven, 10 on the A string, B flat, which is eight on the D string, seven nine on the G string, which is D and E. There's our nine. And then those notes just repeat on each other. And I went up to the D and then went up from the E, E to E, and then went from G all the way up to the rest of the chord. And then we jump into the chords and the tapping section. All right. So as you probably saw, we are doing a little tapping. So we get to work on a couple of things with this chord progression. One, some simple arpeggio patterns in the left hand and then tapping melody with our right hand. OK, so in the left hand, the first chord is going to be G minor and we can find that eight on the B string and then six ten on the high string. And then we're gonna basically, along with the tapping note, that's the pattern for the left hand. And we do each chord four times. So it's gonna be G minor. It's gonna move down a step and it's gonna be now a major shape. It's gonna be F major, which is six, F, A, C, right? We're going to move down to the third position and we're going to play an E diminished chord. E, G, B flat. And then again, we're going to move down another step and we're going to play D minor. D, or three on the third fret, F and A, or one and five. All right, so that's the first pass. You have G minor, F, E diminished, D minor. Okay, now with the right hand, we're going to be tapping, over here we're going to be tapping 17, 15, 14, 15. And you're going to have a very symmetrical type pattern, right? So it's going to be... And what's nice about this first pass is that the note that we stop on, so 17, 15, 14, 15, the start of the next chord, 15, is going to be on that same tapped note. All right. What's nice here because we're doing a G minor chord, and over here it's A G F sharp. And when you put those notes together, you get a minor major seven, a really nice sound from melodic minor. All right. So then we move down to the F chord, and it's 15, 13, 12, 13. Moving down to the diminished chord, we're gonna do a little chromatic movement here. 13, 12, 11, 12. And then for the D chord, 12, 10, 9, 10. Again, 
bringing in that melodic minor kind of sound with that raised seventh right there. All right? So the second pass, you're actually gonna go up the chords. You're gonna go G minor, and then you're gonna play diminished off of A, or A diminished chord. E flat, C, and A. And then you're gonna move back to G minor, and then down to the E diminished. All right, and then the tapping is the same for the G minor chord, 17, 15, 14, 15. For the diminished chord, we're gonna do the chromatic movement again, but now it's gonna be on 18, 17, 16. The melody keeps climbing, grabs 20, 18, and 17. And then when we move down to the E diminished chord, it's 17, 15, 13, 12. Oop. Like that, and then it repeats on itself. And then again, in the game, this, this theme just keeps on repeating, so I just went through it twice, and but you can do it however many times you like. And there you go. The great fairy mountain theme from one of the greatest game series ever, in my humble opinion. All right, so like I said, down in the description below, you can find a link for the tabs. And let me know, what's your favorite Zelda game? Do you like the new one? Do you like the old ones? The one on the Game Boy and the DS? What's your favorite Zelda game? Let me know down below, and I can tell you how wrong you are. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.